around the end of 2013, I'd, I'd just been doing so much promo. Um, Riptide had kind of was doing its thing around the world and, you know, getting played on radio stations in America. And as a result, I was just playing the song at so many places, like radio stations, like, you know, whatever, three or four in a day and yeah. flying, flying in different places, trying to do some touring as well. And I, remember I, I was kind of just doing things that were like, we just didn't know what my limits were physically. So I would catch a flight from America to, you know, um, London and then get off the plane, drive to the venue and then just play a gig like straight away. And that kind of stuff is, is okay if <laughs> wow. you if you really know how to warm your voice up and you, you know, you're just like, you're treating it like you're an athlete, but, it, and I wasn't, I think at that point I was just like, like singing is the easiest thing ever. Like I don't even have to like prepare at all. I can have a few beers. I can like have a ciggy and then like sing. Yeah. And it's just like, I'm just, it's just like yeah. I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out yeah. constantly getting, getting in a car driving, but it, it was exhausting. It took its toll and I lost my voice um, for a little bit. It just needed to rest. And at the start of 2014, I was just recovering from uh, just, I, all I got was a cortisone injection into my, um, my, vocal cords which isn't really that drastic but I still was coming back I couldn't really hit the high notes and I was at a hotel in the, I did this like random promo to I went to like Peoria in um near Chicago which is like middle of no kind of middle of nowhere uh, a couple of other middle of nowhere places I was in Boise Idaho and I remember wow. sitting in the hotel room and I was just like far out I can't even sing the high notes and I was getting a bit stressed kind of thinking about all the things I had to do in the next bit of time and I would put on I put on Alan Watts and um he just makes you a bit more relaxed I've always felt feel in tune with the things that he says and um the thing that I think about and kind of the lesson that I always try to tell my sister or anyone is like he talks about um the tree and like mm. there's like a tree and it's snowing and uh the, the snow starts collecting on the branch and if the branch is nice and floppy the snow just um, <clears throat> falls down and then the branch kind of gives way under the pressure and then snaps back and it's like flexible. And then if it's really rigid, it kind of like the snow collects and it snaps. Yeah. So I try and I always tell my sister, I'm like, Miranda, be the branch. Yes. <laughs>